Hello, and welcome back to another evening in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. Tonight in the arena, I am going to be playing something a little silly to try to make work in Top Mythic, but I don't know. Every now and then you get, like, you're really feeling yourself, and you want to, you just want to show them what's up, you want to play some nonsense, and that's sort of what I'm doing here. This is a very board wipe centric deck that is going to try to sweep the board over and over again. Board wipe tribal you may. The win cons, mostly Amiria's call, make 4-4 angels. And the way that we basically grind the opponent out with this loop is with the Shigeki Sky Turtle combo. So in case you haven't seen it and didn't catch my, my Saga video that ran this in the past, Shigeki has the channel ability to return non-legendary cards from the graveyard to the hand, and the Sky Turtle has the channel ability to return a card from the graveyard to the hand. So channel makes you discard it not exile so if say i channel shigeki getting back a sky turtle and any other card for a total of six mana i can later use the sky turtle to channel back the shigeki and still be up a card and then i can channel shigeki to get back the sky turtle and another card or maybe two other cards or depending on how many lands we have three other cards and so it goes so we're a deck with a ton of land and a ton of ramp and a ton of board wipes <laughs> that's pretty much it you can see here we have 29 land plus three field trips plus two ondo inversions plus four amiria's call Plus three Azusa's many journeys, which says you may play an additional land this turn. Uh, chapter two, you gain three life. And chapter three, exile the saga, return to the battlefield, transformed under your control. So when you put it all together, actually, I want the fourth Azusa's journey. It's going to be fine. We'll go to two field trips. That's fine. A little adjustment there right before we dive in. Um... Not a lot of cheap cards, but you can remember that we can foretell Doomscar and cast on turn three. And we want to cast Shigeki on turn two as well. And we want to play Colossal Sky Turtle. This is definitely a deck where the mana curve doesn't do it the justice it deserves. Most likely on turn two, we're not casting these counter spells as they're better later in the game, but they are really fun to get back with Shigeki. When you look at it overall though, these can all cost two mana in some form. Therefore, it's not like we're without things to do early, and then as the game gets later and later, Shigeki just recurs our threats and our board wipes over and over to completely run the opponent out of resources. Will this work? I don't know. Um, it's all pretty good in theory, but I have some ideas that cards like Thalia and Redain are going to really ruin our day. I have some ideas that other decks are going to be resilient to what we're trying to do. I really hope we play against like some mid-range decks like Black White and things like that, and that Farewell gets them, but we don't have that many answers to Planeswalkers. So we need Onto Inversion to show up in those cases, or we need Field Trip to go get reduced to memory. Once we have some of those in circulation, Shigeki can get them back over and over to use as many times as is necessary, but it's gonna be hard to make work. So yeah, uh, I have no idea what's gonna happen with this one, but I'm excited to try it. Let's dive in. Let Shigeki's nonsense begin. It's a top 100 mythic deck. It must be good. <laughs> Not so fast. <laughs> Not so fast. It only takes one lunatic like me queuing up with nonsense like this to break the matchmaker and make people think I got here playing this deck. <laughs> On the play with ramp. No board wipes. Maybe we'll draw one. Interesting card to draw against a storm carved coast. Okay, we really want to draw land here. We don't get one. So maybe we don't play this. Let's play Shigeki. We can use the ability to get a little deeper and find what we need. Haha. <laughs> They're not gonna like that very much. Ooh. Oh, it's Mill? <laughs> so the fun thing about doing this against Mill is that we can use the Shigeki to get back the Test of Talents and use the Sky Turtle get to get back the Test of Talents over and over until they have no useful spells, and uh, that's game. <laughs> 
Does the matchmaker think I want to play mill? Will we get another mill? I think that normally I would not want to play mill at all. But when you have the test of talents in your opening hand, that changes the equation significantly. Matchmaker is really struggling to find me an opponent at 3 a.m. Okay, they found me number 215. Should be a good matchup. We are on the draw, because that is how I live my life. But we have a Doomscar. Snow-covered plains, not a mono-white gamer who still has those lands in their deck. Always makes me cringe a little bit. This is the part where you play Luminar Gas Pirate. I didn't know it was going to be this hard. This negate probably won't find a target. So it's a six card hand. We're going to need to ramp and get back board wipes as much as possible. I think we played this on white. We might actually want double blue for negate and sky turtle. I'm still not sure what I'd negate, but you never know. Wow. That sucks. Definitely a good draw. We're, we can power through it. We're going to have to use the Suze's many journeys. This might also get the opponent to play something like a Skyclave Apparition. Do we want to bounce something with the turtle? I don't think so. But the opponent might play a Thalia, so I guess we need to be prepared for that. I would love to foretell this Doomscar, but we can't lose to a Thalia here. Just get taxed out of the game that quick. One, two, three. We're gonna gain three life back. We can take this. Three, seven, nine, ten. Jesus. Opponent feeling strong. Don't play that by accident. Don't play that by accident. We have double white already. Boom shakalaka. Sun gold is frustrating. People still running that card. Not letting us do our graveyard abuse with Shigeki. But we have a 3-3. Let's get the layer down so we can power up the hall next turn. Let's foretell the Doom Scar. Um, just a tip, you have to really watch your tapping with this deck. The creature lands, and especially if you have a channel card in your hand, can really mess with it. Yay, land. The end. Dude, short attention spans out there tonight. I can't lie, I didn't expect it to be this easy so far. We're fighting some real lightweights here in the wee hours of the morning. Let's see if Luke is up to the challenge. I mean, that's a doom scar. The Disdainful Stroke is pretty nice, too. Courtesy tap. So it doesn't hold priority. Complete with Friendly Raccoon. Okay. So, I don't think I need to be in a rush for the Doomscar, so let's use a Journey and get that cooking. We'll play it on blue. Unlock all the colors. The opponent could go deadly dispute into wolf, and we want to be able to stroke it. Yes, I know what I said. Well, this draw is unfortunate. We're gonna miss land drop four with 
33 lands in our deck? Yep, that is what's happening. But I'm not going to lose to a Lulth here. I kind of hope the opponent uses that Field of Ruin. We can use the Sky Turtle to get a land back. <laughs> Guys, you can get mana screwed with 33 lands. Just putting it out there. It's fine. I don't want that journey back bad on, badly enough. Merchant? Can't do much about that. Thank you. Thought I was gonna have to wait forever. Farewell recursion should be really good against them as long as we don't get beaten by the hive. The hive is really scary. It can really mess with us. Okay. They are really not going to deploy a planeswalker, but they're definitely a blood on the snow deck. If I play this, they'll kill it, right? I guess we can get it back with the turtle. We do really want to activate this badly. And maybe killing it isn't easy for them. Maybe it forces them to cast something I can disdainfully stroke. Yes, you too can play over 30 lands and get mana screwed. All part of the experience. Ouch. Rude. We could bounce it there, but I'm just not willing to lose to a Planeswalker from this position. Confront the past. So they do have a Planeswalker? Please use that Field of Ruin. Please draw me into good land. Hmm. We gotta cancel out all these all this damage that's being dealt. Or at least try to. So three life could really matter. Creating a body could matter. No mascot exhibition, just a little bit of value. Okay. They're being very annoying. They probably would say the same thing about me. I need this too to take out planeswalkers, but I have to play it. This is a uh, everything that could possibly go wrong in a good matchup situation for us. Far from over, but very frustrating so far. Thirty-three lands was underselling it. We have these, it's thirty-five lands. Okay, 
nice. So, we can exile graveyards. But if I do that, I can't get back this Shigeki. I can also just get back a Disdainful Stroke at instant speed. But then I can't get back that Shigeki. This is rough. This is rough. But I think we say go and put it on the opponent to make the move. Cool. Doesn't look like they're going for another Planeswalker just yet. So the ability of this is actually really cool. Let's see if we can get our opponent to block it. You do need stops though to take full advantage. Okay, float. We're gonna untap three lands, so we wanna do this. I don't have the mana for three, do I? But I could. Hold on. That's fine. Annoying, but fine. Again, tap carefully using this deck. It does try to get you. I guess we want more of this more than we want more Doomscar, don't we? Now hopefully this, prom this prompts them to go for Hive, because we can bounce it with the turtle. They have a lot of mana. know about stroke, so they're gonna try to play around that. Man, do I need to find my one field of ruin for this hive. It's not like hive is unbeatable, but it is a pain. That's pretty good. Team and Breach, very useful. So many Infernal Grasps. Gonna need that life. And you might be like, why aren't you just slamming farewell? Because I'm trying to wait for something to happen. Maybe next turn. We need enough mana to disdainful stroke and farewell so that we can counter the follow-up, because the follow-up is what usually kills you. And you're like, well, just farewell the follow-up. The follow-up will be a planeswalker, and farewell won't hit it. So many fields, but they refuse to use them. Here's Lull. They knew I was gonna do that. Hmm. If I draw a land, I can Sky Turtle and get back Shigeki, then cast Farewell and Exile Graveyards. But it does break up my loop. I'm not sure. It's gotta happen sometime, right? Why not now?
Let's keep the enchantments. I've got one that's about to turn into a creature. And let's hope their four cards left are not Planeswalker. Really? A third one? And you... Oh, that that's a... That's nasty. That's really bad for us. A third ball. Makes me very angry. Makes me very angry. They'll kill this for sure, right? Let's uh, at least try to get this going. Could have attacked it, maybe? Hmm. Yeah. It's late. Be nice to me. They know about Containment Breach, that's weird. Game three. This game has not gone according to plan, but things could still get better. Maybe not, but we do have an undo inversion to try to draw. Welcome to Witherbloom College class. This is one of the most frustrating games I can ever remember. <laughs> but hey, content. Ooh, wait a minute. You didn't leave up a field of ruin. Why not? You just crazy? You have the fourth grasp. How about the fourth deadly dispute? Man, I'm a, I'm one short of killing uh, Professor Onyx, huh? My will cannot be denied. Aren't I generous? <laughs> you win this round, but I'll be waiting. Eighteen cards. Come on, undo inversion, please. I know it's asking a lot out of thirty-eight, but please, it would really make me happy. I really like punishing opponents who play sus. I'm. I shouldn't talk. I've played pretty rough, but. Man, them not using the fields, leaving them open for just tapping them again and again. It's really tilting me. 
And they did it again. With... Ooh. Okay. Okay. I will make a gift in exchange for loyalty. Still one short of killing Onyx. I guess that's the way it goes. I can't use this or else they'll be able to take out the lair. The light is insufferable. Just trying to stay alive for onto inversion. But I don't think it's gonna work. Can't use it in response, don't have the mana. Okay, one on to inversion. One little card. Let's go digging. Still dead to the hive, probably. You could have such power, but I will get what I want. Take the field. They were supposed to take the field. I think I have the mana. Yep, short. That was a long grind to sadness, guys. That really stung. I should have been able to win that, but that was on, like, missing those land drops early. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. I think I could have played a little better, but... That was really unfortunate circumstance, and the opponent drew the real alths. Just wow. I really want revenge. I really want more mono black. I don't think my matchup is particularly great or anything, but I do think I played bad and got unlucky. I think it's a good matchup. All right, the Shigeki needs to live, but at least we're on the play for a change. Asha, Asha. It might be hard to resolve a farewell against White, but we'll put him to the test. Zero ass pirate one time. Sunny. Sunny is a real pain for our deck because of its attack on the graveyard, but we'll accept the challenge. This is good. This is good. The only problem here is if they play Elite Spellbinder, they can take Shigeki and we can never channel it again. Alright, do we want another green or another white? We already have double white. Should do everything we need to do with white. So I guess I'll take the green. Then we can play these on blue freely. Yep. 
But those farewells might scare them just enough to take one of those. They should take the Shigeki, though. I'll just... I, I will play it as a blocker here, though. Which I guess is pretty good. Alright, Redain, Thalia, please no. Please not that. If I can beat White Aggro with this deck, it has a future as far as I'm concerned. We want it in the graveyard if we do get to resolve a farewell. Hmm. It did nothing. Right. I think they have the Wandering Emperor. Let's take a chance. Should have checked priority just for the fun of it, but there you go. It worked. Now, put out some toys for me to exile. Thank you. I think they have a portable hole based on how priority passed, or they have another one drop. Alright, this is the part where we draw turtles, or Shigekis, or Emiria's calls, and we're okay. Okay, there's the one drop. Do they have another Adeline or something strong? Not yet. What do you know? The deck can flood too. <laughs> Seems intentional. But we're gonna make him have the answer. We could wait one more turn and have Soaring City available for protection. But it's not really good protection to replay a tapped card. We'll take our one. <laughs> Let's hold for this. Seems a little like hitting a nail <laughs> with a wrecking ball. Okay. Where was all this last game, huh? <laughs> how how long will he take it? I I, I need at least one more creature. That'll do. Leaving up two mana. Valorous stance? In that case. I would prefer it be a fateful absence, but we'll see. Let's draw a good card, shall we? Nice, that gets around Valor's stance. Okay. Uh-huh. Nice. Doesn't feel like there's priority being held, but who knows.
we hold on. Activate in stance. I would love that because I have a Boseju. But maybe I should have tried to bait that play. You know? They could have done it right there, though, if they wanted. Please, no more. <laughs> How about one Shigeki? Ken has Shigeki? Ken has Turtle? Okay. Yay! What do we get? How do we get more cards here? Or do we just cast this turtle? Turtle. Let's go. If they have a stance, they're gonna have to use it here. No! Rip turtle in the sky. Man, Mono White plays so many cards that can kill you. Intrepid Adversary, in particular, is very scary right now. Okay. Ten mana. Bargain. Shigeki? No such luck. I would also settle for a field trip. <gasps> oh my god. I'm gonna die this way. I'm gonna die this way. Oh, lethal next turn? Must be good. Must be good to be mono white. Comical. Absolutely comical. Alright. Good solid ramp game plan. Let's go. On the draw, but good hand. Mm, might not be good enough. Yeah, I think I need to do this. Getting to eight mana is ridiculous. Those Amiria's calls, though, getting to those could be a big deal. Susan's main journeys can gain some life. they hit their fourth land and play another haste creature, we were just not meant to compete. It's very sad. Okay. Not great for us, but could be worse. We're not going to foretell because we have the seat. And we really need the life off of this. One more play with fire or a blood token activation? Uh-huh. I had a bad feeling about that. So either way, we take three, right? Three life back.
That den of the bugbear is so brutal. I can't figure out if I'm supposed to try to block it or not. If I block the den and then Doomscar, I'm in a better spot, but I blow up my own 3-3. I'm pretty sure we're just dead no matter what, but... If we were on the play, I think this game would have been absolutely easy. I hate to end it with a loss to Mono Red like this. what it is. I think that's an easy win on the play. And we are back for the post-game wrap, and let's check the stats, powered by untapped.gg, 45 minutes of playtime, 3 and 3, 50% win rate, and um, it was fun till it wasn't. Uh, it's very frustrating going 50-50, having good matchups with incredibly bad luck, bad matchups where the opponent draws really well and your draw is good but you just can't pull it off because you went second and losing a lot of rank for it going from uh, rank number 77 all the way to rank number 146 going 50 50 literally doubling our rank so that's why it's uh really hard for me to play kind of brews and things that border on nonsense like this and it's also a good showcase of why it's hard to play ramp in best of one because there's just so many things that can go wrong i literally played a 35 land deck and got stuck on three lands for about four turns in a row against my best matchup and it just makes you question everything about life and the universe but the deck is fun I would encourage people to try it out under less stressful circumstances because I actually think it's a pretty good attempt at a take of a ramp control deck for the current meta. And the copies of Farewell and the copies of Doomscar can certainly keep you alive. The Ondo Inversions can do good work. And setting up Sky Turtle Shigeki is very fun. I was able to dominate most of the things I came across in like the play queue and the standard events. So uh, those games were very inspired and a lot more fun than what you saw here today. So if you stayed till the end, first of all, thank you. You're one of less than 20%. Good job. Plus, I anticipate the stayed till the end crew is going to be less than 10% for this video because any video where I show more than one loss has a much worse conversion rate in people who stay till the end. So if you're still here, you're really tough. So remember, please, to like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment and try to help others see it. Encourage them to stay till the end. Thank you for watching this. As always, I will see you in the next video. You're cool. Mm -hmm.